Welcome to Knowledge 4, Lesson 7, Amon-Ra and the Gods of Ancient Egypt. The old stories from Egypt said that some of the gods and goddesses looked like specific animals the Egyptians saw around them in their own country, or a mixture of animals and human beings. For example, one common Egyptian bird was a small hawk called a falcon. The ancient Egyptians believed in a god named Horus, who was depicted as a man's body topped with the head of a falcon. Another of their gods, Sobek, was depicted with a human body but the head of a crocodile. There have always been real crocodiles living along the banks of the Nile River, and they are always hungry. They often try to catch and eat other animals. In the old days, people believed in Sobek, the god with a crocodile's head, so they could pray to him to keep real crocodiles away. The Egyptians were careful to say nice things about him. See, they would say, we made a handsome statue of you, great Sobek, and we will leave meat and fish in front of the statue for you to eat. Another Egyptian god was depicted as a cat, another as a hippopotamus, and so on. Others looked completely human, but were still thought to have special powers. The ancient Egyptians' most important god had different names in different parts of Egypt. Some people called him Amon, some called him Ra. Sometimes they put these together as Amun-Ra. These were all names for the Egyptian god of the sun, whom they said created everything, including many of the other gods and goddesses. Let's listen as Mirit's mother tells her a story about Amon-Ra, the Egyptian god of the sun, and what the ancient Egyptians believed about the creation of the world. Mirit and her mother were washing clothes down at the edge of the Nile. Mirit's mother said, Amon-Ra started out by living inside a large, beautiful flower called a lotus. In those days, everything was covered with water, and the lotus flower was under the waves. Finally, Amon-Ra thought, it is time for this lotus to rise up out of the water and open its petals. And because he was powerful, it happened. That is amazing, Mirit said. She turned to set some wet clothes on a large rock so the sun would dry them. Her mother replied, You have not heard the most wonderful part. After the lotus blossom opened, Amun-Ra said, Now I will make everything else in the world just by thinking about each thing and using my powers. I will think up other powerful gods and goddesses so I won't be lonely. I will make stars and planets, the sun and the moon and the birds, fish, plants and animals. And I will make the first human beings too. After he made everything, Amun-Ra picked up the sun and put it into a big boat. The whole sun? asked Mirit. Yes, Amun-Ra is very strong. He sailed his boat with the sun in it across the whole sky until he reached the other side. Then he rested and did it again the next day. He still does this every day. When he rests, it is night. Mirit thought this over and asked, Why can't we see him or his boat? 
Maybe he and the boat are too far away up in the air. We can only see the bright sun shining from the back. Or perhaps the sun is so bright we cannot look carefully enough to see the boat. After all, you must not stare at the sun. That will hurt your eyes. Mirit said, Well, I am glad the Monra made the sun, or we could not dry our laundry. And Mirit's mother laughed.